Get ready, ladies and gentlemen, for what could potentially be a wrestling classic. It is Kurt Angle going to go one-on-one -on -one here tonight at Sacrifice against the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Kurt Angle has never been pinned. He has never been submitted. And Shawn Michaels right now aims to be the first man to make claim to that and be the first man to ever beat Kurt Angle in NLW. And he's about to make his way to the ring. One of the most popular superstars in professional wrestling history. It is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. He has not competed on pay-per-view since we saw him at Hell in a Cell way back in September at Destruction. And live here tonight, he is only competing in his second match back. How is that going to play into his psyche? Because he's got one hell of a match right now. Arguably one of the biggest of his career. Because here tonight, Shawn Michaels could make NLW history if he can pin Kurt Angle or make him tap out. Those are two things that has never been done to Kurt Angle in NLW in his career. And tonight, he aims to keep it that way. The atmosphere is electric in this arena. They have been on hand for months and ages. Tickets sold out months ago because Kurt Angle is right here, right now. And tonight, are we going to be saying the undefeated Olympic gold medalist? Or will he be defeated tonight? That is the question. AJ Styles couldn't do it. CM Punk couldn't do it. John Cena couldn't do it. And others could not defeat Kurt Angle and I'm sure that Kurt Angle wants to know why Shawn Michaels thinks that's going to be him and look at Kurt Angle showing some respect but Michaels does not want to shake his hand right now all he wants to do is fight him and wrestle him until one man is claimed the winner and this matchup is underway Michaels and Angle oh my god and the disrespect being shown already with that slap to the face of Kurt Angle, and that's pissed him off beyond belief. Michaels taking him down with a headlock, and now Angle trying to yank back the hair of Shawn Michaels, and Angle's going to do whatever it takes to win here tonight. We know that Angle and Michaels were at heads earlier, and he's a pin far by Angle, and again with a headlock, wrestling. This is what these two men are about. This isn't sports entertainment, folks. This is professional wrestling. This is NLW. As you see right now, Angle throwing Michaels to the mat. And now a hip toss and again working on that arm. And Michaels again with the submission tactics. Shawn Michaels, the technician. Kurt Angle, the wrestling purist. Of course, we know he's an Olympic gold medalist. Shawn Michaels is not, but he is one of the best technical wrestlers to ever grace a ring and now look at Angle trying to get out of this armbar right now Angle trying to pick up Michaels and he does and look at the strength of Angle but he's rolled through again and now again a bridge but Michaels flipping over and we're going to see a pole driver no and a flipping power bomb almost a Canadian destroyer like manoeuvre there and Shawn Michaels pulling out all the stops to try and defeat Kurt Angle there is a massive power slam by the Heartbreak Kid and as mentioned before these two on episode 29 did finally ease up and eventually did fight each other and it was pretty brutal scenes Shawn Michaels was hopeless in the ankle art this past week when who else but Kurt Angle well he did in fact get a sweet chin music for his troubles but that was then and this is now Kurt Angle reversing Shawn Michaels that time and hitting a back suplex and now dragging him away again and the power of her Kurt Angle on display right now and again going back into the headlock it's well documented these men's past history in other promotions across the world but this is the first time ever they're going one-on-one -on -one with NLW Michaels stunning Kurt Angle to try and get out of that headlock and now Michaels looking to fly right now he's on the second rope and now going to try and go for a sunset flip, but all through. And we may be seeing a tap out victory for Kurt Angle already. Michaels is in the ankle lock, but instead rolls through again. And Kurt Angle goes to the outside. He's on the outside now and a massive kick to the skull. 
of Kurt Angle. It's well documented as well, the neck surgery that Kurt Angle has had. If the switching music does hit Kurt Angle, it could cause some problems for that neck. Michael's going after him again and trying for a third slap. Shrugs the chest, but oh my god! Sheer power by Kurt Angle with that Olympic slam, the German suplex, over our announce table here. And that must have hurt his back. You can see the wincing pain in his face. Michael's hitting his back right off of our announce table and now going to work on the neck again with that elbow and again stomping on the back. It's also well documented the back problems that Shawn Michaels has had. And now Kurt Angle taking a playbook out of Shawn Michaels right now and he's got him on his shoulders but a power bomb into the corner. That is what will do it. Those manoeuvres and Kurt Angle obviously knows as well as these fans do that Shawn Michaels has had a history of back problems. And he's working on it again, using the ribs as well, with that suplex again. And it is this that is going to win Kurt Angle the matchup if he continues to do this. Working on the back of Shawn Michaels, flipping him in the turnbuckle and again, another belly of the back suplex. And now picks him up again, and again throwing him that time, halfway across the ring. Michaels trying to kick up and trying to get some momentum, trying to hold on, but instead is kicked away in a punch by Shawn Michaels with another massive punch, right hand by Kurt Angle and that may have slapped some sense into Angle right now but Michaels, desperate times call for desperate measures dives at him with the clothesline Michaels may be pushing his luck when it comes to infuriating the Olympic gold medalist and this isn't going to help tell him what he thinks of Angle right now, going after him but instead dives with his stomach first onto the top turnbuckle and he's in a prone position. We're going to see an Olympic slam, but a Hurricane Rana reversal by Shawn Michaels. Michaels now only on his feet because of the ropes, but instead catches out Angle, who's all eager to try and go after the Heartbreak Kid. This is wrestling in its finest. Shawn Michaels perched on the top rope, and with a crossbody, dives onto Kurt Angle on the outside, and there's barely any give right there on that floor. A thin layer of padding is all that separates them from the concrete. And Michaels doesn't look like he's done. He wants to put his body on the line in order to hurt Kurt Angle and maybe win. But Angle is back on the apron. And oh my god, you don't think. Angle looking for a German suplex on the floor. No way. And the strength of Michaels to hold on and punch him in the face. Sending Kurt Angle back down to the mat. The They're not in the ring. They're not in the canvas. They're on the floor. And the moonsault by Shawn Michaels. Springboard that time by HBK and that is why so many fans have adapted to Shawn Michaels he is one of the most popular superstars in our company and it's not hard to see why with moves like this you see again dives at him that time with the cross body and now another look at this moonsault from Shawn Michaels just all of his body weight comes crashing down onto Kurt Angle and there is a reason that Kurt Angle has not been pinned or submitted in an LW thus far and it's because he is one of the best ever and he can scout you like no other he scouted in that time Michaels went head first into the ring post and got a German suplex for his troubles he utilizes these suplexes to his advantage and now all over again and we know this he's gone for the ankle lock but instead all over again and Michaels is trying to catch out Kurt Angle Angle has not competed in a matchup since over the limit where he beat AJ Styles only just though that must be taken into account as again another German suplex by Kurt Angle and air or oh, flipping L look at that kick right to the skull of Michaels and this is not the Kurt Angle we've seen as of late this is a new Kurt Angle one that is pissed off and is willing to do anything it takes to retain his, his crown and my god flip him in midair and Michaels did a full 180 there gotta say Michaels is in trouble right now as he's perched on the top rope and it looks as if Kurt Angle wants to chop him and again a palm thrust into the face and go for a hip toss but instead punched away by Shawn Michaels Kurt Angle knows he's in control but Michaels going for an aerial manoeuvre 
but instead he's cried out with a belly of the back suplex. Here is the cover, but a kick out by Shawn Michaels. HBK was very nearly another name on the list that Kurt Angle has beaten. Kurt Angle nearly made Shawn Michaels yet another victim, but instead he's gone for the headlock again, and we'll take a look at this again, because it happened so quickly. Michaels went for an axe handle, but got caught out in mid-air, and that just shows the strength that Kurt Angle possesses to literally fling Shawn Michaels not even halfway across the ring, fully across the ring. He's got the headlock, but instead Michaels trying to stun him out of it and goes after him again. Sent off the ropes with the double axe handle and the spinning elbow. Michaels kick up, and this is vintage HBK right now. Chops the chest again, and another huge punch sends Kurt Angle down that time. And Michaels wants to go to the top rope. It's what these fans want. Of course, these fans have been split 50-50 throughout this matchup as HBK goes for the elbow onto Kurt Angle. Both of these men command such respect. But Shawn Michaels is the one with all the momentum right now. Tuning up the band. Are we going to see switching music right now? Or has Kurt Angle got another solution? He does. It's not pretty, but he deliberately clotheslines him out of his boots and oh my god went for the massive sweet chin music but caught out and now Shawn Michaels may have nowhere to go Michaels is in the middle of the ring and he is in that ankle lock submission Angle has it wrenched and Shawn Michaels looks as if he may be about to tap out unless he wasn't near the ropes but he is and just about getting near the ropes but Kurt Angle he's got a count of five to work with not letting go at all, oh my. Are we going to see an angle slam? But Michaels rolls over again. And now Angle catches the foot yet again. He went for the switch of music a second time, but power bomb to the mat. And the back slamming against the canvas. We've mentioned the back injuries that Shawn Michaels has suffered throughout his career. It caused an early retirement at one point. But now Michaels is on the floor. It is Angle taking the risks. And now going for the moonsault. But Shawn Michaels just about moves out of the way Kurt Angle is on the floor that may be one risk that was not worth taking but Michaels is climbing the top rope and Kurt Angle sees that and he knows he's going to seize this opportunity as Michaels crouched on the top rope and now hung up desperately in that tree of woe Kurt Angle smells blood like a shark in the water he's on the second rope and a springboard again an elbow to Michaels in that tree of woe and we've never seen that from Kurt Angle before but maybe is this a sign that Kurt Angle feels the need to use more momentum use more moves because he's not going to beat Angle at the moment and Angle isn't going to beat Michaels it looks as if that DDT may have caught him silly right there he went for the Angle slam but now going to go for a German suplex but reversed by Shawn Michaels and a German suplex and now HBK going for a trifecta taking a move out of Angle's playbook he's trying to hold on but reversed around and the Olympic slam by Kurt Angle the Angle slam and Shawn Michaels may be out of it Angle not going for the cover he wants to make him submit and he may do that right now Angle has the Olympic style ankle lock on Michaels right now but Michaels rolls through and sends HBK packing Angle is just about on his feet but again goes for the switching music and again caught out in that ankle lock submission Kurt Angle relentless right now he wants to make Angle he wants to make Michaels sorry tap out but instead he's rolled through into the steel ring post and Angle all he wants to do is get the win right here but a massive palm thrust into the face of Michaels and oh my god you see the blood that that may have shattered his oil bone or shattered the nerves in his nose and Michaels is bleeding bleeding profusely but pushes him away in the sweet gym music One, here's the call by Michaels but a kick out Angle stays alive only one moment longer but Michael's nose may very well be broken as you see the blood spouting out of it. 
Kurt Angle with that palm thrust, I think it was. Busting open Shawn Michaels and nearly breaking his nose. And this may not be wise, but again, caught out by Kurt Angle, but dragged away to the middle of the ring. And the blood spewing out of the face of Michaels. He is in the ankle lock right now. And this is one hell of a sight. Blood flowing from the skull of Michaels and the nose that may be broken. But Angle intends to make Michaels tap out. He is so near the ropes, but he's dragged away again. Michaels may have no choice now. Can he get out of this? No, he can't. Michaels taps out. And that may have been his breaking point. And that may be the move that pushed him over the limit because Kurt Angle has made another victim out of Shawn Michaels. Kurt Angle has still not been pinned. Kurt Angle has still not been submitted. And tonight, he has made the Heartbreak Kid tap out. Well, we'll take a look back at the move that busted open Shawn Michaels. It was that palm thrust. And then pushing him away, Kurt Angle kicking out of the switch in music. But again, Michaels groggy on his feet got caught out with the ankle lock and eventually he had to do what so many have done in the past and he did unfortunately for him tap out that was his breaking point here tonight uh, evidently you see the nose still covered in blood but it was Kurt Angle that got the victory here tonight obviously was he better here tonight or was it just a case of luck only they'll know but now Kurt Angle wants to shake the hand of Michaels is Michaels going to return the favour and he does because he is a sport he is a true sport and he knows that here tonight he may not have been the better man maybe on another night things would have been different but nevertheless Shawn Michaels with blood spewing out of his nose has admitted that he may not have been the better man here tonight but he put up one hell of a fight and that is what matters As the heat is on, the temperature rises. Under the sweltering summer sun comes an event so intense you may be burned. There are no restrictions. It's all about the fight. You guys might want to get an ice pack. Cause there's gonna be a heat wave. It is going to be the hottest pay-per-view of the summer. It is Heat Wave, and it is coming your way in July. And I cannot believe, I cannot wait for that event. And who is going to be Intercontinental Champion heading into that event? We may find out tonight. Right now, it is for the Intercontinental Championship. And about to make his way to the ring is the man who has held that title since August of 2014 and he wants to continue his championship reign live here tonight when he puts it on the line against Mr. Anderson about to make his way to the ring Chris Jericho and it was last year that Chris Jericho had one hell of a rivalry that made his career perhaps here in NLW in a series of matches against Chris Benoit however tonight he has a new challenge a fresh face in Mr. Anderson who is looking to revitalize his career and he hopes to do that tonight by winning the Intercontinental Championship however Chris Jericho is a veteran of our sport and it is not going to be easy to take the title away from him but if anybody can do it maybe just maybe it is this guy the brash young arrogant star from Green Bay Wisconsin it is Mr. Anderson we have heard him be outspoken in the past, but as of late, it's been Chris Jericho who has been outspoken. He's even gone as far as to call Mr. Anderson an ass clown on national television. Nevertheless, Mr. Anderson knows the insults have been thrown away by Chris Jericho in an attempt to get him off of his game. Hopefully for him, he's going to stay focused and try and wrest the title away from Jericho as this matchup gets on the way here at Sacrifice. It is for the Intercontinental Championship as Anderson shoves Chris Jericho away. And there you see the disrespect being shown by Mr. Anderson 
slapping him right across the face. And that really pissed off Jericho as he's going to work on Mr. Anderson right now with a series of punches. Holding back not a lot as Chris Jericho wails on Mr. Anderson in the early part of this matchup and spears him to the floor. And is now literally choking him out. I think Mr. Anderson may be regretting that slap at the beginning of this matchup a little bit right now. Nevertheless, he's in the corner. He's begging for mercy, but instead manages to get his cheap shot in and throw Jericho out of the ring but he's getting right back in there right back into Mr. Anderson and a kick to the stomach it was on episode 26 where Mr. Anderson defeated Chris Jericho via a roll up and in that upset victory the commissioner felt that Mr. Anderson deserved a title shot he's getting it here tonight but it may not last long as Chris Jericho has Anderson in the walls but he does get to the ropes luckily for him and of course it was this past week on our episode 29 where Chris Jericho got the pin over Mr. Anderson in that six man tag team matchup so they are one apiece technically as it comes to pinfalls so in a sense tonight is the tiebreaker as Chris Jericho curb stomps the back of Mr. Anderson and sends him back first into the ring apron he certainly has his fans however many do still remember the antics of Chris Jericho over the past few months in which he has disrespected numerous names in our business however when he's going against somebody as outspoken as Mr. Anderson could be argued that Mr. Anderson is the more hated of the two but Chris Jericho gets hung up in the ropes that time by Anderson and look at that upside their head and now marking Chris Jericho and this is why the fans have taken to Chris Jericho as of late it's because Mr. Anderson he's just a flat out jackass and he doesn't care what the fans think of him quite frankly he doesn't care who anybody thinks of him the only person he cares about is Chris Jericho at this minute and the Intercontinental Championship he has got the headlock applied now trying to restrict the oxygen of Chris Jericho however they're both back on their feet and now Anderson shoved away in the strength of Jericho to get out of that manoeuvre and that predicament but he's barely holding up and barely standing up in the corner right now and he does get there in a massive boot by Mr Anderson that may have knocked him for six but look at this again into the ring post and now roll up is it going to be the same result as episode 26 it's not but that was almost identical to the victory that Mr. Anderson had over Chris Jericho on episode 26 and look at him taunt him in the corner but upside the head again with a massive clothesline out the corner and can Y2J rally the fans behind him and get back into this contest certainly looks that way at the moment with a drop kick baseball slide to the stomach of Mr. Anderson and now Jericho in full momentum, full swing the Ryan Salt, here's the cover but a kick up by Mr. Anderson and oh my are we going to see the walls of Jericho here again but Anderson making sure it doesn't happen this time and the Kenton bomb rolling senton Chris Jericho is in a world of pain you can see the wincing on his face that his back is killing him right now but Mr. Anderson wants to maintain control and oh my, are we going to see the code break here? But Anderson wants to go for the mic check, but he's reversed into the top turnbuckle. And now out of all the commotion, the walls of Jericho are locked in. And Anderson may have no choice but to tap out here, because he's in the middle of the ring, and he's not getting any nearer the ropes. Is Anderson tapping out to the walls? He's inches away from the ropes, but he's dragged away again. And Anderson now has no choice, does he? no he does not Mr. Anderson taps out and Chris Jericho is still our Intercontinental Champion I gotta say that the strength that Chris Jericho had to drag Anderson away from the ropes was mind boggling in a sense and that has just won him back and retained him his Intercontinental Championship the gold is still around his waist and he is still yet to be dethroned in months well take a look back Jericho went for the code breaker Anderson went for the mic check but then it was reversed into the walls of Jericho we thought that maybe Anderson would make the ropes but Jericho knew the story and he dragged Anderson away and that was 
leaving Anderson with no other choice but to tap out in the middle of the ring. <laughs> He's not happy, you can see in his face and you can tell by his expression that he genuinely thought that tonight was his night and I honestly think, in my opinion, it was his night tonight. He certainly proved himself in the weeks coming in to sacrifice with wins over CM Punk, Jericho and others. However, Anderson, on this occasion, came up just short. It was indeed Chris Jericho who locked in the walls of Jericho and made Anderson tap out and thus Y2J is still our Intercontinental Champion. And you want to talk about champions, this guy used to be a champion, he used to be a World Heavyweight Champion, he also used to be a Hardcore Champion. He lost the Hardcore title to Raven at Over the Limit in an I Quit matchup and ever since then his mission, his goal, his sole aim in this company was to win back the Hardcore title and not only do that, to take out Raven in the process. How is he going to do that? Through Barbara Wire Massacre. It is coming up next. It is possibly the most extreme bloody contest. It's not for the faint of heart. There's no doubt about that because it's Barbara Wire Massacre for the Hardcore title. Raven versus Cena.